and welcome to my YouTube video. My name is Suzanne Bryan and this video is about how to start a pocket that is knitted in in one piece. This is in conjunction with a tutorial that I have on Ravelry. It's called It Takes a Guild Cardigan Tutorial. It's a skill building tutorial for knitting a top-down raglan cardigan with some decorative cables pockets and a shawl collar. So we're getting ready to start the pockets. And in order to orient you to this fabric, this is a top-down cardigan. So this would be up towards your right shoulder and this is going down to your right front. This is along the front button band. This is where we're going to be picking up stitches for the front button band. And we're ready to create the pocket. So what I've done is I have moved the live stitches to a temporary needle or you could put them on waste yarn. I like to have them on the cable of a needle to work these but you can do either. If you have interchangeable needles you can just you know, run an interchangeable needle through here, take the needle off and just leave the stitches on the cable, put some stoppers on the ends and then you would just leave this here until you're ready to work with these stitches later. So it's a, a like a four-step pocket. The first step is working down to where the pocket of the top of the pocket is going to begin, which is where we are now. Then you would put those stitches, the pocket's front stitches, would be put on a temporary needle or waist yarn. And now we're going to pick up the fabric from the pearl bumps along the back to cr to create the pocket lining. So we also have this cable here and we're going to be picking up stitches behind the cable as well and as we've talked about before in this cardigan you know cables do have that problem of cable flare and you can see how this one wants to splay out here when we're creating the lining the lining we don't want the lining to be that wide because if we do we'll have puckered fabric under here for the lining so in order to compensate for the cable splay we will pick up fewer stitches in the area of the cable. In this case, I'm going to pick up two fewer stitches and I'm going to skip this stitch right here. Let me use this needle as a pointer. I'm going to skip the purl column that's coming up here. I'm going to skip that stitch and here's the other purl column. I'm going to skip that stitch and you'll see why in a minute I'm choosing those. So this is the right side of the fabric. We're going to maintain the right side of the fabric being face up while we pick up the stitches. I'm going to use some white yarn for the second fabric. So here's my white yarn and I'm going to start over here on this edge. I'll enlarge the picture so you can see better what I'm doing. And we can look at the wrong side of the work and we can see that for every knit stitch on the right side of the work there is a purl bump associated with it on the wrong side of the work. If we turn this over we can see the purl bumps below each stitch below each knit stitch from the right side. When we come to the purl stitch from the right side it looks like a knit on the wrong side. Here's those four cables then the other purl which looks like a knit so what I'm going to do is holding the work with the right side facing up and kind of looking straight down on the top of the needle. I'm going to take my live needle, my needle that I'm knitting my sweater with, and I'm going to go down in each purl bump, not up, but down. If you go up, it'll create a, a purl bump on the front of the fabric. We don't want that. So I'm going down into the purl bump that's right there on the needle. This is the knit stitch. This is its purl bump. I just go straight down and pick up a stitch. Now for those of you who are really really astute with knitting architecture you'll know that this is the same thing as making a lifted increase. But if you're doing it consecutively you're just picking up stitches directly behind the stitches that are already on the needle. So this makes like a double fabric. So one stitch for each purl bump. I'll show this throwing as well. 
for those who throw. You go down in the pearl bump. Those are my grandkids. They're in the other room and they're being quiet. So you should be glad they're not being noisy. And you pick up in one stitch in each pearl bump. And we're coming over to those cable stitches. And remember we talked about cable flare so we want to pick up fewer stitches and this is based upon your previous calculations for your cable flare in this cardigan that we've talked about previously. I will link the cable flare videos to this video. So we're just working along here and we're going to come to that cable to the next stitch. Now remember I said it's not so easy if you pick up there's the what's a pearl on this side looks like a knit on this side so you would either have to go under this leg or this leg to pick up a stitch and that will show through on the front of the fabric so that's why I've chosen to use those stitches as the ones that I'm going to skip to compensate for the cable flare so I'm just skipping that stitch it's still on the auxiliary needle and we will be working with it later. It's not going to be dropped. We're just not picking it up for the lining fabric. The lining doesn't need to have a cable in it. It's just going to be plain stockinette stitch fabric underneath the cable. There's the second net. We're going to skip it. and our last one. And I'm going to knit a row. Well, so we have, let's make this smaller. Now you can see we have two sets of stitches. We have the set of stitches that is going to be the front of the pocket. And when we come back and work with these, the cable will just continue down. There will be no interruption. You won't be able to tell where this happened. And we also have the lining stitches. So we're going to turn our work and we're going to work one row of the lining just so you can see what this is going to look like. So we'll just quickly work back across here. I just want to show you how the fabric's going to look. This is the neatest trick and you can use it for all kinds of things in other knitting projects. This, um, this particular trick is not my design but the pocket is my original design. This is the beginning of it and there are several parts of it that are my original engineering efforts in knitting and I think that you'll really enjoy doing it. It's a knitted in pocket. There's no seaming involved. When you're finished knitting the pocket is done other than weaving in the ends. Now if you don't have a cable in your front pocket you don't have to worry about compensating for cable flare you would just pick up one stitch for each stitch all the way across. So now let's turn this and see how it looks. Okay, so you can see the beginning of the stockinette lining. You see that? This is the front of the pocket that will continue down. That lining will be under it. If we turn it over, it's just a continuation of the fabric on the back. And the cable stops here, of course, because it's going to be on the front fabric. It's not going to be on the back fabric. So I think you're really going to enjoy this. Be sure to try it on a swatch first. You know, I always teach swatch, swatch, swatch. So make yourself a little swatch. This is just 20 stitches wide. Practice this method before you start it on your sweater. If you like my videos, give me a thumbs up. Share them with your friends. Leave a comment below. You can find me on Facebook in a group called Knitting with Suzanne Bryan, and we're talking about that cardigan in that group as well as lots of other things. And you can also find me in Ravelry in the group called Knitting with Suzanne Bryan. I hope you come back and join me, and happy knitting.